the Patriots offensive coordinator, Josh McDaniels, withdrew his name from the Colts head coaching job. He said he he did accept the job, it sounds like. And then he said, nah, I'm good. You know what? On second thought, I'm going to stay with the New England Patriots. And man, you know, so, so again, he chose the Patriots offensive coordinator position instead of going to be the next Colts head coach. And people heavily have criticized Josh McDaniel. Oh, they have come after him. People are Really, really calling him out there. People in the media, by the way, not, not necessarily general managers, people in the media have been going after Josh McDaniels. Let me, let me pose you a question. If your dad is about to retire, and when he retires, you inherit his farm, which gives good crops every single year. You know it's a reliable farm. There's a lot of good stuff there. The ground is good. The ground produces good corn. Or, instead of waiting for your dad to retire... You can go to another field that everybody says has a lot of potential, but it really has not delivered in the recent years. I'm I'm inheriting the good farm that I know is going to work. The Patriots is a great, that is a great, that's one of the pinnacle head coaching jobs in the NFL. Now think about this, going from an assistant coach to a head coach is an upgrade. You're going from good to better. But better isn't actually better when you could have the best. The Colts head coaching position is better than being an assistant coach. But the head coach of the Patriots is the best in that scenario. Between assistant coach, Colts head coach, Patriots head coach, the Patriots head coach is the best. Don't settle for better when you can have best. So so why is a Patriots head coaching job the best in my opinion? Why? Well, here's why. They have an established culture of winning and they have a good owner. Yeah, what do you need to win in the NFL? You need a good owner, you need a good coach, and you need a good quarterback. And then defense is probably fourth in there. Receivers are like the last thing on the list, throwing that in there. The Patriots have built a culture where not only does the, co- the coach matter, so they, the head coach matters of the New England Patriots, but they listen to the head coach. They pay attention, they believe in him, they trust him. The head coach of the Patriots matters. They've established a winning culture in New England. Now, what do they have in Indianapolis? They have a a kind of wacky owner. They have a losing culture. And, And while everybody's criticizing Josh McDaniels, why aren't people more concerned about the Colts? Maybe the Colts are in trouble. Why are we assuming, oh, something's wrong with Josh McDaniels? Why could it be that something's wrong with the Indianapolis Colts? No one thought about that? No, No one considered that at all? Why, why do the Colts have the worst roster in the NFL? Why are the Colts atrocious everywhere, at every position? You know, last year, two years ago, sorry, the Colts quarterback, Andrew Luck, had a lacerated spleen. He did not play last season because he was injured at all. Not a single snap. He took a year off of football because he was hurt so badly. Because his offensive line was awful. And yet, two years after that injury... The Colts still do not have an offensive line. They still haven't solved the problem, which is their offensive line is terrible. I criticize the Seahawks all the time. The Seahawks have a terrible offensive line. Think the Seahawks offensive line on steroids. Like far, far worse. Like awful, atrocious. So bad that your quarterback is rupturing his spleen. Not to mention, again, they have a crazy owner. A a losing culture in the recent years. The Colts are a mess. Why would you want to inherit that, that messy situation when you can have the New England Patriots? Remember, better is not actually better if you can have the best. And the Patriots head coaching job is the best. And it's funny, people are saying, you know, Josh McDaniels burned all his bridges. The guy has no other options. You're telling me if in three years from now, Josh McDaniels still isn't the head coach of the Patriots. He won't have options. The guy can go wherever he wants. You know, you know, there's a story that Josh McDaniel's agent recently quit. Uh, the stupid little info that nobody seems to include at the bottom of the the bottom of the paper is that Josh McDaniel's agent was also Chris Ballard's agent. Yeah, Chris Ballard, the Chris Ballard, who's also the general manager of the Indianapolis Colts. Josh McDaniel's will have the pick of the litter. Josh McDaniel's can go wherever he wants. But I will say an interesting wrinkle in all this. 
is that the Patriots window will now be open for quite a while. I've talked about how, you know, the Steelers are getting old. And as, as both the Patriots and the Steelers age together, the Patriots have the Steelers number every single year. The Patriots are always beating the Steelers. Now, Andrew Luck's out of the picture because he doesn't have a good head coach. And the Texans are still a couple of years away. The Patriots are going back to the Super Bowl. Who in the AFC realistically challenges the Patriots next season besides maybe the Steelers? But again, they, they beat them every time. I'm telling you. There's a window of a couple of years where the Patriots could be back in the Super Bowl over and over and over again before the AFC finally elevates and is able to compete with the Patriots. It, and again, it's interesting. Josh McDaniels chose to coach a 40-year-old Tom Brady instead of a younger, 28-year-old Andrew Luck, who's in the prime of his career. Something may be wrong with Andrew Luck. Like, we're all ignoring the fact that uh, he didn't play at all last year, and a head coach decided, I don't want to play with Andrew, I don't want to coach Andrew Luck, a great, brilliant-seeming head coach. Hmm, hmm, that's, that's concerning, yet nobody's pointing that out. Nobody's saying something may be deeply wrong with Andrew Luck. Because why do they have a backup quarterback, Jacoby Brissett, and they haven't tried to get rid of him. They haven't tried to trade him. They're keeping him on the roster because they don't trust that Andrew Luck is healthy. That's, that's my speculation. I don't know. I'm just saying that. Now, one more thought on, on Josh McDaniels before we take a break and then talk about the 49ers. When I bought a camera, I put a lot of time and a lot of thought into it. I looked at every camera on the market because I was conflicted. I was like, mm, you know, I don't know which camera I want. I wanted to make sure I did the right thing. And, and I didn't want to, I wanted to make sure when I bought a camera, I knew 100% without a doubt, that is a camera I want. Because I was spending a lot of money on it. I don't want to waste my time and money. In fact, when I buy a t-shirt, if I'm not certain I want to buy that t-shirt, I, I don't go home with it. Because I'm like, you know, if I'm like, eh, I, don't, I don't do it. And if you're going to leave your job and go to another job, and you're not absolutely sure you're doing the right thing, don't do it. I mean, unless it's, but you know what I mean? If it's really that much money, if it's really that great a deal, you would know without a doubt. If you're uncertain and you have stability where you are, eh, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying don't take risks, but if Josh McDaniels felt like Nicole's job was weird and unsure, I, I found a camera once. It was 4K. It was about the same price as the camera I have now. It was like, I had all the bells and whistles, but it was a brand. I just, I didn't, I didn't feel good about. I really didn't trust it. And I, I came to college here and I met someone who'd bought that camera and it clunked out. It failed and it was awful. It had all these problems. And I'm like, you know what? I'm so glad I trusted my gut. And I bought the camera I knew was great. Instead of the camera, I was like, mm, I'm not sure about. Food for thought. Just saying. Maybe Josh McDaniels was like, you know, I don't, I don't trust the Colts. I don't think it's a great opportunity. It's not as good as people are making it out to be. It could be that situation where he said, you know, I'm not sure. And I'm going to stay where I know I can win and I know I will have a good life. Food for thought. Thank you so very much for watching this video. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, please share this with your friends. Tell your friends about Strong Opinion Sports. If you like this, help me grow by sharing the link with your friends. And if you really like Strong Opinion Sports, remember you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. My name is Zach Schalmer. Have a great day, everybody.